Scott Simonetti as we watch the finals of the men's Masters eight ball. Nine ball. Eight ball. Yep, we got it. I thought we were playing nine. God. How you doing, everyone? I'm Scott Simonetti. I'll be sitting in the booth bringing this match between Alex and Tom. They're both high-level players. I'm talking, you know, could be pros and stuff like that. So we should be see a great match. This is gonna be. Okay, so it's gonna be a race to six. We're gonna fix that scoreboard in a second, but it is a race to six. Tom breaks the balls wide open. Well, not wide open. There's a cluster. <laughs> Tom's going to go with stripes. I mean, salads. I went to double check, Scott. I know I told you six. This is actually going to be race to seven. Okay, wonderful. Race to seven. I want to get Tom spelling. I don't know if he's got straight on this tree or he's got to draw back out to get closer to a seven, one, or six. I don't know if he can follow out, but it looks like he's straight. I have to muscle it around. I think he's going to draw so straight that he's going to, on the way back, he's going to hit that 13. But it, he's trying to see where he could get a good shot on that 7-1 because I don't think he can move the ball much. Like he's going to be stuck in that little corner. Okay, shoots it now. Good shot. He's going to finish this up to get a one nothing lead, early one nothing lead. Hey, nice out, nice break and run by Tom. Alex's turn, it's alternate break format. Just to give you a heads up, we're at Omega Billiards TV on YouTube. We're also on Facebook. We're live streaming for free. Please like and share this so other people can watch. 
Alex has got a big, huge break in nine ball. I don't know what his eight ball is. I can imagine if he goes off the head ball, he crushes it. But looks like he might be going off that second ball. Nine ball break. Go off the nine. Yeah, he gets a little side. Uh-oh. Scratch. So Tom's going to be right back at the table. Ugly table. Going to have to be bumping balls. If he's eyeing up the 14, maybe right there he gets the 11. I don't know. Uh, cut the 13 to bust something up. Yeah, 13 on the side. Maybe you don't have to bump anything. I think the 11, I guess, goes clean. That was a good shot if he's going to try and roll to this rail. So he's going to go a little rail first. He's got to just get that at 12 over towards the fall towards the top left if he can. So coming rail first at 12 could go towards the corner. Don't want to make it. The 12 ball. So rail first, 11. Good control. Great shot. Still a little work on this 10 ball because you, if you want to play on the side, you really got to get past that two. You really got to be on the bottom side of this table. Just got to draw deep. Get out. Back center table, but clear the two. All right, he goes to the other side. He punched it right across. Great shot. Had enough angle to punch it across. It's going to be short. Okay. Bank in the side. say Tom rips those banks. Good shot, Tom. Good recovery. Two nothing. And has the break. And just to remind you guys, Omega Billiards TV and Omega sponsoring this event, bringing you guys this free stream. 
Just want to also thank our, the rest of our sponsors, Aramith Billiard Balls, Diamond Tables, Acme Cases, and of course, Simonis Cloth. Tom now serving it up, leading this match by two games. Tom comes right at the head ball and crushes him. Big break. Couple balls went down. Decisions. The 15 down the corner would be a great opener, but it put it in the side to try and get it down, but I'm going stripes. It makes it down the corner. It's a real good shot. Yeah, that was tough opener, but if he makes it, it was a real good shot. Puts the ball down. It's still open. Alex finally comes to the table with something he could work with. He's got the 12 now, but I think if he just stops the 10, he could still make it. Like this gap between the 5, 7, like where he's looking. Like if he just stops the 10, he's still got the 12 right there. But you got to stop it exactly on the, on the spot. So he's still got the same good angle on the 12. Tickled the ball on the way out, but still has the 10. Not sure he wants to cut the 11 past the 3. Just checking to see if it fits. you shot because you can't hit the one. Mm, he's going to be short. Almost hit that one, though. Almost cleared the five. But big jump by the big O coming up. It'll be pretty because if he sticks it perfect, he's got a dead shape on the 13. This will be pretty. Try and jump the 11. I hope he makes it. Just missed it. Just missed it. Open table back to Tom. If you get the seven in the side, it'll be heaven, but I don't think he's got it. I think he's got to shoot over a ball at one of these threes or fives. He's got a decent bridge for the three. He's all right. Two 
210 looks good if he wants it, but he could also bust it up. Uh, 27, I mean, 72 just knocks it, nudges. Clean out by Tom. Alex says that's good. Three nothing, Tom. So with these open outs, these guys just, if they're open, they're going to clean them up. Tough game playing good shooters that don't miss. Alex down 3-0. Race to seven. Still plenty of time. So he's switching sides. No, he ain't switching sides. He's still doing that break. I thought he switched sides on. But much better break, much better spread for Alex. April goes bottom left corner, so it has a pocket. Looks like no matter what you choose, you are going to have to deal with that cluster of 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 13 type of cluster. I think I think if once that opens up and those lanes open up for those balls, it's an out. Because the two thirteen, you know, bump them around. Still want to nudge that two a little. I don't think it it's clear in the top left. It looks like it goes if you had to shoot it, but I'm, it looks snug. Like if you wanted to shoot the two, you know, near the 13, but make it in the top left. Like if the cue ball was where the four is type of thing. I don't know if it's that clean of a look. I think the seven might become a a ball you got to worry about also. It doesn't it's, it doesn't have that that corner. You can get to it now, maybe. That four six, the four does not pass the six, so he's got to work with that. But he could get the six from the right hand side. Just can't shoot the four past the six. Combo. Maybe nudge this six with a draw. Off the combo. There it is. Nice shot. Six still ain't clear. Got to come over. Take it from the right-hand side of the table. Try and get a top left-hand corner on that six ball. Got to get over there.
I don't know if Alex is going to get crazy and try and draw this in the side. Tight draw and try and swing it towards the 15. Nope. He's just going to pocket the ball. This is uh, closing the doors on him. He's going to hit a good shot to try and get over. Punch it across. Yeah, he uh, he didn't have that 12. He would have punched it beautifully across. It's tricky, tricky. Because shooting at this 6, you're going at the 13. You might get a tick off 13 towards your corner. So you got to make sure you're, you're drawing or following out of that angle. Nice shot. Drew out of it. And scratches. Tough roll. Tough roll for Alex. That six became an issue. I don't know if the 14 pass is 11, so he's got to try and get to this 14 from behind, maybe. Or just play for the 11. So he drops it in for the 11. Whoa. He's got, he's got options. Over Mount Everest on the 14. Back cut on the 12 he's looking at. Or rail first on the 11. I'm not sure the 11 goes like you just shoot right at it, but... Well, first he'll get it done. So he's going to shoot the 14. Must have a little angle. was a tough shot the over he missed it and left Alex a bank on this eight calls it cross side he missed it short He's got the 12 on the side, but he's got to get off of that side rail. So he's got to come back off that side rail. Maybe draw out of it or follow. I think he's following. Yeah. One rail back out. Good shot. I don't know if he's gonna try. I I I go like to the back top rail, you know, out top rail and try and get this 15 in the bottom left. I want to try and hit this 815 gap. So he's trying to hit the 815 gap, and he got there. Hey, Tom's in control with a 4 nothing lead. Alex had a bank, and speed got him. I think uh, just speed. As soon as you let it roll like that, it kind of reacted off the rail. Different than if he stung it. Tom 
Mahomes got the big break, goes off the head ball, five ball. I think he got him. Nope, dry break. I think he missed that just a little bit to the side. Not 100% square. He's got another shot to get on the board. Open table. He's going to blow out this... Three, four, one area. Blow it out. Nope, just moves his strike. That works. Table to open up with. That's just one shot. It's looking like Alex is going to get there for 4-1. go. First game for Alex, 4-1. And he does have the break. So a dry break leads to a run out for the big O. Hmm, everything is looking good except your bridge. You know, you got to shoot over a ball, I think, if you try and pocket a ball. I don't think the six goes. Oh, uh, yeah, I think he can't shoot the six up the corner. Maybe he has the edge for the side, but I don't think he's shooting that. This ain't easy here. I mean, that one is ugly. You can't shoot it. I think it's a scratch. Can't back cut it. He's going to try and cut this 14 in the side. It's probably his only look at a shot. It's like kind of a bad roll. You know, good break, and you got to land on that, but he's, he made a great shot. Might get the money. Might have to go into this cluster. I don't know if he draws out of it. Okay. Good shot. 
is a real good shot. I don't think there's an issue with the 12 if you get anywhere to where the cue ball is now. So you got a good angle to pocket the 12. Oh, so we shoot it now. With some break and run with that opening shot, jacked up over a ball. But Alex is going to get 4-2. Okay. So now we're starting to trade punches here a little bit more. Tom was just running away with it, but now it's a battle. Tom is switching sides. So he's going to switch sides, but I think he's still going to go off the head ball. Oh, almost drew right into the side of the old horseshoe. That almost got kicked in. Instead, he opens with a nice 11 up the... Uh, you don't have to shoot it, but if you want to... He's got an 11. He has the 15, but I, I, I think the 11 is nice. I don't think he's got anything to shoot at with solid, except maybe back cut the four. So I think it's 11 ball. Like, uh, you know, trying to roll to that 14, and if I don't get there, you got the, you, you always got the 9. But I think if he shoots the 15, then you're going to have to deal with that 11 9 coming back at you. Unless you break up that 10 1. So maybe he goes at the 10 1. So now he's kind of pinned into a box playing this 10 ball on the side. It's just a tough shot, but if he makes it, he'll have the 12 in the same side pocket. So it's kind of like if he could get it down, it'd be all right. Just overcut it. Tough shot. But he would have felt perfect in that 12, real nice. Might have got out. The five ball's kind of tucked funny in between the 10 and the yeah, 14. There, yeah, you, know? you said it. But I think maybe he could go into this one and maybe come three, you know, one, two rails back at that. Come okay. out of the corner. Off the side rail. I think you go at it right now. 
you know, maybe you hit the five in the face, maybe you catch the 14. Okay, so he wanted to get somewhere so bad that he forgot about the one ball. That's a miss. It's a big miss. I think he could have got out there if he if he did break those balls up. Tom's looking at this 14. Just it's sitting on the five. I guess it looks like it goes. Yeah. These guys have got back-to-back -back misses, which is super unlikely. Super rare that they both miss both shots like that. So I don't think it's uh, anything to do with the, you know, score or pressure. I think, you know, something something just got catchy there. Alex gets to his five. It went from the other way for the bottom left-hand corner also, so he had a decent shot either way. I think he pulls back for the one. I think if he could just clear and get a shot, he'll get out. It's just a matter of clearing this, these stripes. I think that's all he had to do. Good shot. All right. We got ourselves a battle. Four three. Alex is closing the distance, was down four zero. Won the next three games and has the break. Big turnaround. Big turnaround. Maybe Tom did miss that that little ball. You know, maybe it was a little bit of pressure. Okay, a couple surprising misses by both players that last game. But then Alex did clean it up with a good out. Eight ball is going to get funky. Look at that eight ball. Takes the whole pocket away for the whole game. So be it. Pretty good break. I think uh, solid you could work with because you come off that 13 and maybe, you know, get a tickle on the 15 if you need to bump it. 
back you know into play but i think that's the play you take solid and you know if you take stripes you don't have to go near the eight till the end Okay, he kind of got the wrong angle on both these striped balls here. I don't know if he's going to want to shoot it or have to go to the 13. You know, if you got straight on the 14, he's in business, but that little off angle, and then you go t turn and look at the 10, and the 10's off angle. I mean, the 10's easier to recover from. You could draw one to the top rail and back out, I think. All right, so we had the bump balls, and it's still okay. He's got Now he's stuck working with this angle. Whatever this angle is, he's got to manipulate to if he wants to go at this 15 where he could have created the angle so he had to manipulate it does he have the 10 oh man he's snug on this three I can't tell I think he's clear but he's got to he's, you know he's got to draw because he can't play the 15 I don't think in the corner He's got to draw to get this in the in the side. Because I don't even think he could fall towards the one to pocket it. The 15 in the bottom left-hand corner. I don't even think he could fall to that side to get that shot. Hmm. I guess it wiggles by. He's cutting in the side. Wow. I didn't see that 11. Good shot. That was great. I didn't even see the 11. Wow. Good out. He worked his way all over to get around that eight ball. Good out, Alex. Four. Four. What a match. Tom wins the first four. Alex wins the next four. It's a race to three for the title. Power break by Tom, right at the head ball. Last time he didn't catch it. That time he caught it. Big break.
is a pretty tough layout with even if you want stripes because there is a lot of a lot of solids over there making it tough that it, like if you don't move his solids you gotta find pockets for the nine and fifteen. And it's not just simple as just making that five seven combo. Cause there's a chance that if you shoot this five, they could double click. The seven's you know it should go. But if you could get it down solid solids is the move. So five seven maybe? Seven ball. You know, I think you gotta hit it super bad not to make it. But it looks funny. Because if you clip the one, like if you just miss hit it a little and you clip the one, it's over. So you gotta make sure you miss left. Oh, he had the one ball. Oh, good shot. That's gonna be a run out. Swing it around. Draw. No, nope. slow roll. Ooh. Wow. I right, got perfect on the two. Nope. Takes the three. Okay. Jars that ball, but it does come out of the pocket and rolls to the middle of the bottom rail. I think now Alex is going to be off to the races. I don't know if the two goes. I mean, the nine goes. The two goes, but I think the nine is frozen. That cuts the angle off. Not that you can't get to it. It's just you can't shoot it now, I don't think. He's going to try and bump these balls. Hmm, this is interesting. I mean, the 15 slides towards the 6, goes in that corner. But the 9, like has one pocket, bottom right, I think. You got to get behind it. Maybe it goes. I'm blind. Look at this. It's perfect. <laughs> I thought this ball couldn't go. Went easy. Ah, oh, sweet. Oh, 
it's been all Alex since 4 nothing. Alex won the last five games in a row. And Tom, it's not because, you know, Tom's missing a little. Letting Alex go wild. But it's 5-4 now. And Alex is breaking. That was huge. Tom's got to stop the bleeding. So the last couple of breaks have been solid by Alex. His first two weren't so good. Last couple, he's been popping it perfect. Off that second ball, piece of the one type of thing, cut break. Wow. These balls opened up. So he's going to reach for this three right now to bust out that five problem. Good shot. Maybe straight, straight, straight. Uh, where he might, you know, even if he sticks for the one, it's a tough, tough, you know, straightaway shot up the corner. I don't know if he rolls up. Does he have the two on the side? Can he cut down that two ball going in the side type of shot? I think, I, you know, it looks like he's straight. Maybe he's got angle, but. But what I see, he's got a roll. So he cuts down the two ball angle and should be okay. Oof, oof, he knew he missed it. So that was a little bit of a pressure miss. I felt it too. But if he got that one down, I think that was uh that was gonna put him on a hill. There wasn't much left. Good shot. Nice out by Tom under the gun. 
Yes, it's the 5-5. Five, five. New ball game. Alex was almost right there, putting this on the hill, making it super tough. But now it could be done. And Tom has the break. Big swing right there. Big swing. Okay. Tom has a couple fans in the crowd. Maybe they're just clapping a good pool. Big turn, big turn. Okay, dry break, I believe. Holes didn't open up too good. Maybe a bad brat, maybe a bad hit. But there is a whole lot to like about the stripes. Alex is going to just bang on these balls a little bit. Maybe draw to get to that eight free. Kind of like the first shot he was looking at, that 11, trying to draw and clip the six. I think the top three balls can take care of themselves. You don't have to force the 10, you know, don't force the combo, don't force the 15, that's straight. I think this works. And you can really rip into it, you know. That's a big miss, because I think that would have opened up everything. All right. Still open, still open table for Tom. Also, let something rip on this five, maybe. Equal five ball. He equals five. Wow. And a scratch. Wow. Hmm. That was crazy. Well, he didn't sell out. I mean, Alex, this, this table's a mess. Look at that eleven ball he had set up. That looked like that looked like it was a pretty good pattern that he's trying to get to. I mean, it's only that fourteen ball that's driving him nuts, or that ten, whatever, sitting on the one.
Because she's looking to play this off the one. I just I, I think he still has opportunity to go into it somehow before he's got to go playing a ball off another ball. But I don't know. It might just lay so perfect. And I know he sees those shots better than me because I don't play any of those ticky shots like off a ball stuff. I'm terrible at them. It could be where I'm just don't play eight ball enough because he's he, he been playing pole for this the whole time. So it must be just perfect. in your home. Hmm. Wow. That puts him in a spot. At least if he could see the 12, he could do a little bit of rail first type of stuff. Wow. I don't even know if he could come off the 10 and like draw to the 12 because the 12 is, you know, it's not deep in the pocket. It's it's high out of pocket a little bit. Otherwise, you would be able to take a shot at that. You draw on towards the 12. I guess he could rail first at 12. I don't even know if he has that angle. It looks like it. Like rail first at 12 and then go towards the, the 10. Hmm. That is uh that was that's brutal. I'll tell you the truth, that was brutal. At least get that shot that you could, you know, make a mistake. You, you could use that twelve that you could see it and you know get back in line, but nope. Tom's got this five to start it off. Good, you know, good shot. The one, you know, I think. You got to move it, but I think you can do it off the three. You, know? you could do it off the three. Nope. Maybe. Like, turn it. Just He, he does. He tries to get to these things, but, you know, problem balls. There you go. Good shot. It's a winner. You just got to get good on the four and the side. And everything will be all better. Like, I want to go and try and break these two four up off the one. Like, draw into it. I wouldn't. I don't think I would do that. Maybe just try and play for the four. Might be going into it. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, wow. Puts him shooting from the rail. I think he's still okay. Good stroke. Need a good stroke. Nice hit. Control there. Hey, Tom gets another 
crowd applause. Little late game mistake by Alex got him in trouble. Still has the break. Still has the break. But it is 6-5. Tom is on the hill. This race to seven. Masters Division 8 ball. Men's singles. But the big O, he's got a big break. He could use one here. I would love to see Hill, but just because, not that I care about that whole, just want to see good bull stuff. You know, I know Alex. I know Tom, I don't know Tom. I root for everyone, but if I have a friend, you know, I want to see friends win. I want to see Tom win, but friends win too. But I'm not rooting. I just like to see it. Man, that was, I'm still trying to, that was crazy. All right, Alex is ready to pop it. He's been going like catching a piece of the one, two, his first and second ball type of combo. It's a ball down. I think he made the eight. So that'll spot that. Still think the eight's clear, so it doesn't get spotted sitting, on, you know, frozen on something. Yeah. It's a pretty funky rock. Like the only problem ball would be the same for both both solids and stripes. It's the seven and it's that twelve. Like if those balls weren't on the table, you could run out either one of them, I believe. Either solids or stripes. I think. Good shot. I think he could roll this in the seven will drop to the bottom rail or the top rail. I think he's got that kind of angle. But he don't even want to mess with it yet. Yeah, there's the shot. Better now. Follow the follow the five and try and drop that seven. Hmm. Then it get got stuck there. Got caught up. Now he's got a tough shot. I don't think he could back cut this four. Nope. He can't, I don't think, he can't make it bottom right. So he's got to find a safe off of this seven. I don't know more you could do than just maybe roll up on it. Make him shoot over the top of a ball. You go to the left, you're going to leave a shot. You go to the right. He thinks he can see this four enough. Get a roll, either roll right up or bring the seven to block the eleven twelve, so it just ain't so clean of a look. Bring the seven up a little. All right, trying to get back into the middle of the table. Not bad. Didn't leave up a shot at all, but I think he's gonna get a nice safety back in his face. That was a good shot by Alex. Didn't, didn't give up anything.
Hmm. Good shot. Distance created. I don't think Alex could try and cut the one in. I don't think he could see that edge, but he can fire at this three if he wants to. But that's it. I don't think he can even see the seven. Falks is looking for like maybe a kick from behind. See where this three ball could end up. On the three, I don't, I don't think that's what he's looking at. But we're banking it, you know. I'm taking over the pocket, pocket trying to lay the bank up, top left hand corner. I don't know. Tough, tough. Bank it down. Save. Hmm. I think that 13 is gettable. Thank you. Let it ride. 13 in the side, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. My heart's going to stop. Holy cow. Problem with the seven and the eight. Good shot coming up. Push the seven towards the corner. Might be trying to clip the eight on the way out. Nope, 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 nope. Bad stroke. That was a bad stroke by Alex. Now it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to move, make a move on that eight. I don't think it's dead frozen on it. Excuse me. I think Alex is looking to juice this up. And he's going to let this cue ball go, I think. Oh, wow. Wow. Someone just kind of said something out of crowd that Alex didn't like. Something like let him in or something. Almost didn't get it, but I think it's all right. Thank <laughs> you. 
That's going to do it. Tom's going to take this down. Good shooting, both players. A couple mistakes, but pretty clean eight ball. Tight match. Congratulations, Tom. 2023 VNEA Masters Men's Single Eight Ball Champion. Good showing, Alex. Next time you get him. Man, that was some crazy sets. Anyway, I am Scott Simonetti with Omega Billiards TV. I'll be joining you for the next match, but we're going to be signing off right now. Should be about 15, 20 minutes maybe, but I'm going to hand you off to Daniel. Thanks for listening. Thank you, Scott. All right, guys, hope you all enjoyed that Masters 8-Ball final match there. I surely did. You guys are turning, tuned into Omega Billiard TV. For the VNEA World Pool Championship, stay tuned. Click that subscribe button on your YouTube page and follow us on Facebook to stay in the know with all the action. I'll go check on getting the next match.